Breaking news. Federal government is working on Abakiari and Usibajo's face mask. Strength to the point. Namdi Kanu wrote, slowly peeling, peeling off the Buhari mask on the face of Jibril to reveal the greatest fraud of the century. This is how Abakiari, Dwara, Isa Futsio, Toku, Buratiai, Lai, Muhammad, Yemi, Osibajo, Sultan of Sokoto, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Atiku Abubaka, Ibrahim Babangida, Abdus Salami, Abdus, Abdus Salami Abubaka, have been deceiving 200 million people in the most useless country on earth, which is Nigeria. Can you see how easy it is to de deceive Nigerians into believing that President Momodou Buhari is still alive and in charge when in actual view he is not? A max that cost less than 10,000 US dollars is what this criminal, this criminal ruling class is using to deceive their fellow unthinking, uh, unthinking fellow. But luckily for the masses, they were not able to deceive them, nor the great IPOP members. Had Abakari been a good health, Abakari is in a good health. If he were, if he is in a good health, he would not have allowed his recruit Jubril Sa Sa Sudana to bear in front of a video without proper neck covering. Those in Cuba forgot to make him wear the one that covers the neck and upper body parts as shown in one of the attached pictures. Their mistake was how God wanted to expose them because the time has come to lift the veil or should I say the mask. These masks are made by taking photos of your face from various angles and molding a three-dimensional copy from vinyl chloride resin. The me method is so de detailed or is so detailed that even blood vessels and iris delayed are copied onto the mask. Right now, they are about to finish making the real-life face mask for Abakiari and Yemi Osibajo, who is also critically ill and in intensive care. I will plead with Pa Ayo Adebanjo to mobilize the Yoruba race in the search for Prof. Yemi Osibajo. I will re reveal more about this fraud of the century in great details during my weekly Sunday coronavirus updates on 5th April 2020 at 7 p.m. Biafran land time. They thought coronavirus is their only problem. Now they are in, in for the shock of their lives. Nothing will stop God Almighty from imploding Nigerians sooner rather than later. In their life is they in their life is they hear the name of IPOP or Namdi Kanu, they won't let Lugard set foot on their shoes. Mind you, you can be Zindin, Dindan, or Donald Trump if you want because Nigerians cannot tell the difference anyway. Wow, viewers, thank you for listening to this news. I think Namdi has said it all, that the imposter has been the imposter uh, Momodu Buhari has been revealed and uh, now they want to also make the same plan they made for um Jibril. They want to they want to create another mask for Abakari and Jibril because as it is now Abakari is so very ill is in the hospital now so he cannot act he cannot move he cannot do anything and they need him 
in the Hasu rock. So they are trying to get a mask of his face for another to put it on. And they will think, Nigerians will think that Abakari, they will tell Nigerians that Abakari has been cured of COVID-19. Meanwhile, he's still at the hospital receiving treatment. The same way they did to us during Buari's time. Buari, we knew quite all right. We had, we had the information that Buari, uh, Buari is dead or was dead. But at the end, we, we've already, we, we have already had that in mind that Buari is no longer alive. But all of a sudden, we now hear that Buari has regained consciousness and is alive. Or oh, just like that. Then we never knew that it was not Buari but Jibreel. If not for the help of Unamde Kano that reveals everything that is happening in Asorok to us. We won't have known that still be still be, be been deceived by this government and cabals in Asorok. Why are they doing all this? Why are they deceiving Nigerians? Why? What would they gain from this? What is their plans for destroying, for wanting to destroy Nigeria? What is their own plan? Because I don't know what their plans are. Imagine that. Can you see how easy it is to deceive Nigerians into believing that President Momo Dubari is still alive and in charge when he's actually not alive? That was what he told us then, that he, Buari is alive. All of a sudden, we find out that it was not that Buari died, that the person there is wearing a mask, which is Jibril. Now we can reveal, uh, exposed Buari during the speech, during the speech when he was uh, sp uh, speaking to Nigerians concerning COVID-19. Nnamdi Kanu saw difference between um, between IPOP members and between sorry between uh, Buari and Jibril. It's very obvious to uh, Nnamdi Kanu that um, Jibril was putting on a mask that he is not Buari but uh, Jibril. The Sudanese guy. Imagine that. Why did they keep deceiving us? Why? Is it because we we have calm? We are calm because we don't. We, it's not that we don't know what to do. We know what to do. We know what to do. But we have reasons from just taking everything that they do. We are just there praying you know that one day god in his infinite mercy will definitely vindicate us because the bible says that vengeance is of the lord so we are waiting for god to revenge for us so viewers mask or no mask one day the truth will, be, will prevail and we will know who has been sponsoring this mask of a thing and who have been giving Boko Haram and Etsmen the um, mind or the courage to kill and destroy people's properties and lives. So viewers, what is your take on this? If you have any comments or any questions, you will be highly welcomed. Don't forget to click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications. And don't forget to like and share this news as well. Thank you.